All right, we're here with uh, Bruce Wheeler, musician and avid festival goer. We're going to ask him a few questions about his experiences at Kendall Colby Festival. So can you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Yeah, firstly, why the hell am I on this lake? Well, I'm not too sure. I wonder why I'm on the lake as well, but you know. I have got my 25 metres swim uh, badge. Well, so I am. Um, I'm, I'm quite apt in situations like this. Uh, but uh, what was the initial question? I can't remember. Well, I think now the question is, would you be able to save me? Because I haven't got my 25 metres, so to be honest, I'm a little bit concerned. To save this dapper outfit, yeah. I'd, you know. It'd be hard. It'd be hard. I don't know. It'd be hard. There'd be um, extensive dry cleaning bills. Yeah. Also, but it, you do look smashing. Okay. Well, thank you very much. No, no problem. So, if we go back to the festival, um, you've been to the festival many years. Would you be able to sum up the festival for us in your own experiences? Mm, possibly, but um, I think there is a certain law that's bound me, and I cannot go into detail about these things. Ah, so you won't be able to say about what you've done or what to, you to think be honest, about the festival. I'm a bit of a renegade. Ah. You know, I'm not a self-proclaimed really. That. I'll take this. I'm not a self-proclaimed proclaimed renegade. But um, I don't think I don't think the world's ready for me. Right. There's, there's okay. certain things that I do. Would you say the festival was ready for you, or the festival ready but not the world, or just none of them? I don't think that this festival can be considered part of the world. Right. No, I suppose it's it is a bit detached. Of, it, it is a bit detached. It's kind of like um, imagine if uh, the funk group Parliament were Indeed. to land and say, "Hey, we're going to do a festival." Would be this colourful. Kind, yeah, this this would sum it up as well. Just land here, and once it's gone, fuck off. So you are the Parliament of Kendall in one embodiment of a man. Kind of like that. Yeah. So that'd be the closest thing. To be honest, I don't. To be honest, like I've I've had my suspicions over the years, but I don't think that this place has been derelict. I think it is a base, like a military base. Huh. There are a few things that would suggest that, but um, as we. Uh, in a dinghy, we'd probably best uh, yeah, not worry about those things and worry about more of our safety. That thing there, that rock? Yeah. I don't think it's a rock. Do you not? No. Do you think it's watching us? I think it's spying and it's like, you know. Uh, I'm right. a bit nervous. Yeah. Will you, well, I'm nervous will you, anyway. Will, will, will you forgive me for being a bit nervous about this? Oh, well, it's to be expected in these circumstances, yeah. isn't it? It is. Yeah. But I think after the weekend's over and the ship flies... Yeah, you might be on it. I think so. I heard I, um, recently at a festival you throwing out Cocoa Pops and setting fire to West Guitar. Are you partial to doing that or is that the Cocoa Pop every thing. now and again or is that just for Kendall calling? To be honest, it was a very naive plot for me to get a sponsorship deal with Kellogg's. Right. And um, I thought... Did by, it work or...? Well, I thought by, you know, discarding their product over... It would the, show that you truly believe yeah, in their know, product like, and know. they might give you a sponsorship deal. Everyone enjoys Cocoa Pops. So if I'm not eating them and I can afford to waste them, yeah. That means I really appreciate the product. If I can buy them, and yeah. just like, you have them. Yeah. Well, we'll make it. sure we uh, send this to Kellogg's. If, you, if there's anything you could say to Kellogg's from Kendall Carlin about your wanting for sponsorship, what, what would you say? Well, basically, I mean, I'm no Brad Pitt, but I'm a better looking than that cock. You I know, uh, not, not Brad Pitt, the, no. uh, the, the Kellogg's cock. The Kellogg's cock. Uh, on the cornflakes. Yeah, I suppose. I think it's a cock. Yeah. I think they would call it a rooster. Uh, I think Kellogg's Cock's got a ring to it as well, so if it's not called the Kellogg's Cock, they probably should Kellogg's call it the Kellogg's Cock. The Kellogg's Cock. Yeah. I'm better than the Kellogg's Cock. Yeah. You could be the Kendall Cock, though, could for the be. festival. Maybe you could change this a little bit round and get a positive I am a bit of a cock. Ah. Um, yeah. Like, you know, I do like to ruffle my feathers a bit. Yeah. That, you know, um, so if we generally. could uh, go, if we go, go back to the uh, festival, yeah. and you could uh, tell us a little bit of something. So if our viewers, you were introducing our viewers here, from your perspective, to Kendall Calling Festival, what would you say, just to sum it up, and um, give us give us something to make people want to come to the next year's festival, or not come, whatever you desire. I think that if you want to um, discover yourself, your inner self, yeah, you should come here because yeah. there's a lot of things. It's not music based, or even drink based, but there's a lot of things you can pick up here. I mean, I'm a dab hand. I'm a woodman. And if you, if you want me to show you how to survive in the wilderness, then yeah, just, just come here. I'll always be here. Yeah. So if you want to come to Kendall Calling Festival and you would like to uh, survive in the wilderness, we've got Bruce Wheeler, uh, Bruce Wheeler here to guide you. So thank you very much, Bruce Wheeler. Can I take this? No problems. We've got Willis okay. as well. Okay, we've got Bruce um, Willis, Bruce Wheeler. And, he, uh, uh, he's a friend of mine. It. But um, to be honest, I've, you've held me enough. I need to get back okay. to my... Um, okay, we're getting back place. to um, wherever Bruce Wheeler's going. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bruce.